Ah. Oh. Really? Already? Hello everybody, welcome to Chaz Draycott Media and welcome to another episode of Tower Simulator 3. Again, we're still going through a lot of the airports now, we've had update 4, I get a chance to play them all again and see how pretty they are these days. And today we're heading to one of the biggest and busiest airports in the game at the moment, which is KCVG, which is Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport. There's a passenger terminal here and a huge amount of cargo coming in and out of this place, so you need to be really switched on for this one. Right, we're going to go for, we're not going to go wet and wonderful like we have the last few times we're gonna go for just a clear day three o'clock here and we're gonna go for the energist design database and airplane set can't remember in terms of the runways what we had i think it was three six right last time out that we were using so i'm gonna try that one to begin with and then see whether we can handle all the cargo and stuff that comes in and out of here it's definitely a busy one but i'm looking forward to playing this again because i remember quite enjoying this one before would you look at this it's beautiful and sunny compared to what we've had the last couple of episodes in it wonderful yeah 36 center is the runway that we tended to use for our departures for all the cargo last time and um, we had a lot of the passenger stuff going out on 27 i think i'm going to get everybody going down to 36 right and have departures uh, sorry have arrivals in on 36 center and 36 right uh, let's do the big stuff on 36 center and let's have a mixture on 36 right shall we cool let's check cameras f7 top of the tower as always oh wow it's a bit dead over there f8 for some reason looks at that f9 for some Cincinnati reason looks ground. at that and f10 looks at that doesn't really help anyone does it let's get f8 looking at all the cargo ramp here oh can we go out i think i remember we couldn't go all the way to the end here does it no it does Cool. Okay. Well, we can maybe look over all of the cargo area like this. So, control F8 that. F9 at the moment looks here for some reason. Um, well, we're going to get a lot of... Oh, apparently that's runway 3 center. Not 36. That. F9. And then F10 can be the other runway over here. 36 right. I'll also make sure that it looks over a lot of this cargo ramp, which seems a bit empty compared to what we've had in previous episodes. And that's runway 3 right as well. Hmm. Okay, the number not saving properly on the ground. Control F10 for that, right. Uh, and then I think F11, I'm going to use an F11 camera to look over at this terminal here because I just need to see how close they are because you don't always get the right idea of how close they are it's together really from the uh, the radar screen. and the. So I think it's better and more important to have an idea from here. Does that work? Control F11. So we've got eight looking at the cargo ramps. Nine. Departure and arrival runway. 10, departure and arrival runway. 11, terminal. 7, above the tower. 1, the desk. Cool. Endeavour 5107, pushback approved. Expect runway 36 right. Allegiant 377, pushback approved. Expect runway 36 right. Air shuttle 6016, pushback approved. Expect runway 36 right. Giant 2801 Heavy, pushback approved. Expect runway 36 center. Pushback approved. Expect mm. runway 36 right. Endeavour 5107. Need to turn the tag sizes down a little bit, I think. Right. I can just about read them. I hope you can as well. Uh, we've pushback got a blue streak on the way in. Poo streak, right. as I call them. So we've got pushback a legion pushing back from down here. And then little United air shuttle going out from there. I'm going to turn the 3D radar off because I don't want the 3D the 3D UI, I should say. Some Delta 737s there. This is another one that I'm putting on my list to fly to on Microsoft Flight Simulator. Because, again, there's a bunch of these airports that I control on this game, but then never really get them from a pilot's perspective. That's why I like playing Microsoft Flight Simulator and doing a lot of stuff on VATSIM. Because I get the idea of what it's like as a pilot then to work from an airport like this. That's the Boeing 767 freighter for Prime Air getting going. Hell of a cargo ramp all this, isn't it? I love their little 737s too. They're so cute. Cincinnati little blue ground. things. See a few of them here in the UK. Air Transport. Push and start. Air Transport 3413 pushback approved. Expect runway 36 centre. 
Air Shuttle 6016, runway 36 right via Tango. Endeavour 5107, runway 36 right via Tango. Yeah, get on Tango as soon as possible. Juliet, and then Tango, I think. Air Transport 3413 Heavy, pushback approved. Expect runway 36 centre. Did I not tell you pushback truck? Runway 36 right via they both want pushback, look. Air shuttle 6016. I think it's that one that's going to go first. But then that one will want pushback soon as well because the tug has pushed up to them. Any of the others? No. Pretty sure it's that one that's going to start moving now. Today. Come on. Taking its time. Allegiant 377, runway 36 right via Tango. Blue Street 5250, runway 36 right, clear to land. Runway 36 right, via Tango. Allegiant 377. No, actually, it's the nearer of the two 767s to that one that's actually pushing back. Look. Hopefully that's all right. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm going to use the follow company command here as well, because in the Discord I realised in the past that you're supposed to say the runway rather than just saying the call sign and follow company. You're supposed to say the runway number and then follow company. Please don't hit each other. Have you stopped halfway because of that? Because that doesn't look finished to me. Ah. Oh. Really? Already? Already a mess up? Oh, I don't know, actually, because look at where their wheel is compared to the yellow line and look at where theirs is compared to the yellow line. Yeah, I think they're ready. I think that should be okay. Cincinnati yes. Ground. Oh, God, sorry about the wait there. Air Transport 3413 Heavy, runway 36 Centre at Delta. Giant 3801 Heavy, runway 36 Centre, follow company. Go on. Oh, because it's not the same call sign. Giant 3801 Heavy, runway 36 Centre at Delta. There they go. Okay, fine. Fine, there's Endeavour taxiing slowly. I need to get them to not do that, basically. I need to get them, rather than going on taxiway 3, we need to get everyone by Juliet Tango. Because look at the speed these lot are going at now. They're on Tango. They're going much faster down there. Uh, no other arrivals at present. We've got another Frontier ready to go. Frontier Flight 2548. Pushback approved. Expect runway 36 right. Giant 3818 heavy. Pushback approved. Expect runway 36 centre. They're also taxiing very slowly on that ramp. They go really, really slow down there. Takes absolutely forever. So let's see. That one's now going to start pushing back. Once they've cleared them. We need to look up here as well. Where's Frontier? There it is. Literally just pushing from there. With a legion around them. It's an A320neo as well. It's quite dead up this end of the airport. I expected it to be a little bit busier here, but then again, my previous schedule that I used here was crazy, so most of the action is going to come from over there on the cargo ramps, I think. We need to check our runway down here. I think Allegiant is going to be ready to go anytime soon. Where is our arrival? Okay. Allegiant 377, runway 36 right. Line up behind next landing aircraft. I'm going to start moving call signs out of the way when I've dealt with people, just so the upright ones are the ones that haven't been touched effectively. There we go. Frontier flight two five four eight ready to taxi. Just behind the building there. Frontier flight two five four eight runway three six right at Tango three via Tango. Bit of a shorter runway, runway for them. Probably get them at Tango, at Tango four to be honest. Via Tango. Endeavour five one zero seven runway three six right at Tango four. Can you do that? Runway three six right at Tango four. That's Tango four. Yeah, we will. Good. 
Air Transport 3413 Heavy, runway 36 Centre, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. It's taken us a good few minutes to get our first departure out of here, hasn't it? It's nearly been recording for 10 minutes. Okay, Allegiance lining up, now we've had our arrival. And there, Airbus A320. And there is the arrival, Blue Streak. Now watch Endeavour there, they should slow down and then turn, yeah. So that is a high-speed exit to come off the runway, but I think it's quite useful that they can use it to uh, depart on there as well. I think Tango 3 is the better option, though. Here's Allegiant. I'm going to get the camera a bit further down here. There we go. Who are you? God, they haven't cleared the runway yet at the other end. Flipping heck. They've only just got there now. There's our first Amazon departure of the day. One of the 767's air transport. Giant 3818 Heavy, runway 36 centre at Delta. Runway 36 centre at Delta. Giant 3818 Heavy. Oh, it's Delta 2. Giant 3818 Heavy, runway 36 centre at Delta 2. That one. Yep. Allegiant 377, runway 36 right, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Air shuttle 6016, runway 36 right, line up and wait. And then we'll get Endeavour on there. No more arrivals. Giant 3801 heavy, runway 36 centre, line up and wait. That's them down there. Runway 36 right, line up and wait. Air shuttle 6016. They're getting prepared to go. There's the other one taxiing out. Doesn't look like there's any other aircraft ready to push back from out there. All the tugs are quite far away. We've got some 747s over here. We've got a Polar and Kalita 747s. Triple 7 freighters and an A330 freighter as well. And a 767-200. None of which are going to be doing anything anytime soon by the look of it. No pushback tugs anywhere near those guys. Okay. Endeavour 5107, runway 36 right, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Did we tell Frontier to, yeah, Tango 3? Three. Cool. Right, okay. Blue Streak 5250, taxi to ramp via 2 Sierra. 2 South. Taxi to ramp via 2 Sierra. Blue Street 5250. Blue Street 5250, taxi to ramp via 2 South. Yep. Taxi to ramp via 2 South. Blue Street 5250. <laughs> Flip it out. Okay, so Endeavour is now on its takeoff roll. They rolled onto the runway. And we'll now power up. A little bit further back, we've got the little <laughs> Embraer making a racket. Ready to power up and get shifting. They're going to be there for a while because I've got to wait for Endeavour to get rolling first. Giant 3801 Heavy, runway 36 centre, cleared for takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Runway 36 centre. Giant 3818 Heavy, runway 36 centre, line up and wait. Contact departure. Giant 3801 Heavy. Okay. Still no arrivals, so we've not got any rush to get anybody out at the moment. Frontier Flight has now taken place at Tango 3 down there, the holding point just before where the Endeavour is going to be. Uh, sorry, not Endeavour, Air Shuttle. Air Shuttle 6016, runway 36 right, cleared for takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. And then Pooh Streak is going to be uh, getting into their gate very soon. I think they're in this one. Contact departure. Air Shuttle 6016. Are you going to be in there? Are you going to be in there? Why has my mouse got the uh, spinny loady wheel around it? It's not doing anything else, my PC. There you go. I like how much detail we see these days. There's the departure in the background, look. Look at the level of detail. If you'd have told me that this would be the, the same game as Tower 3D Pro, effectively, just a few years later, yeah, I wouldn't have believed you. It's incredible, the level of detail we've got now. I love it. love how close you can get with the aircraft. And the fact we can move around the cameras like this as well makes such a big difference to 
Just the enjoyment of the thing. Look at the oil shine there on the ground. That's so cool. I've never noticed that before. There's a departure. Air shuttle. There's a legion, I think, turning back. Or is it giant? Uh, it's air transport, actually. Going back in the opposite direction. They're at nearly 10,000 feet now. You can still keep an eye on them, but that's cool. That's well good. Right, uh Frontier Flight 2548, runway 36 right, cleared for takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Giant 3818 Heavy, runway 36 center, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. And with that, we have nobody runway three, six, right. on frequency. On reaching altitude 1, How strange. Contact departure. Frontier Flight 2, 5, nobody 8. on frequency at all. Runway 36 center, cleared for immediate takeoff. On there goes 1, Giant. Contact departure. Giant Long old runway. runway. And then just at the other end, we should see now, there is Frontier getting moving. Well, they've just taken their time to line up. They're going to prepare everything and then get Shimmy in. There you go. Now they're starting their takeoff roll. But yeah, nobody else by the look of it wanting pushback anytime soon because you can normally get an early indicator by the tug moving up towards the aircraft. You do get that sound of an aircraft starting every so often, the prop. But that's not anything to be taken as an indicator. There's Frontier with the doggo on the tail. Off they go. In their A320 Neo. Yeah, there's not really a lot to, uh, to look at at the moment. Odd. Very odd. I'll have to wait and see until somebody pops up on frequency to say hello. Don't know if we're going to get an arrival yet or a departure or what next, but either way, it's nice and... Well, that's quiet, isn't it? To be fair, it's an A320neo. At that height, you're probably not on the throttle anyway. It's already in cruise. So <laughs> they don't really need to worry about anything. Nobody coming up on frequency yet, so I'm going to speed up time. I'm going to go by 8. We're going to aggressively power it up. Yeah. Look at that. Literally moments. Yeah. Amazon Air 3068. Pushback approved. Expect runway 36 center. Speed it up by 8 again. Speedy pushback for them. And they're going to be ready any second now. Still no arrivals. Nothing. There's the aircraft we had before spreading out. It's mad. I really didn't know it was this quiet here because 3 o'clock was the busiest time of day according to the scheduler that I checked. Still. Amazon Air 3068, runway 36 center at Delta 2. Thank you very much. Times it by 8. Have a quick drink. Keep our eye on the screens. Nobody coming in by the look of it. Wow. That's weird, isn't it? Allegiant four seven okay. seven five with information Oscar requesting push and start. Allegiant four seven seven five push back approved. Expect runway three six right. There's push Amazon Air seven three, three seven. Right. Allegiant four seven seven five. Amazon Air three zero six eight runway three six center cleared for takeoff upon reaching altitude one thousand contact departure. Runway three six center. Here they come. All the way down to 36 center. Bang on in front of us there. On Delta 2. They'll then turn on. Awesome. They power up. I oh know, I cleared them for takeoff, not immediate takeoff, so they'll line up, rotate a little bit, and then there'll be the transfer to the other audio file where it powers up, and off they go. It'll growl like mad now. Bye bye. What's that all the way over there? Is that FedEx? Excuse me. There's something really far over here. Yes, it's FedEx. It looks like a FedEx A300. 
Not quite sure why it's all the way over here. I didn't know it was parked this far away. Hello. That's cool, isn't it? That's a right chunk. And then any moment now, just behind them, the Prime Air 737 will rotate. It's quite a nice picture, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> nice. Bye bye. So who's ready to taxi? Alla Giant. Oh, we've got an Amazon Air aircraft coming in, actually. Allegiant 4775, runway 36 right at Tango 4 via Tango. You like a Tango 4, don't you? Cool, Amazon Air 737 on its way in. Speed up time. Oh, we've got Delta. Amazon Air 3053 on final 36 center. Delta ready to go. Delta 546, pushback approved. Expect runway 36 right. Amazon Air 3053, runway 36 center, clear to land. And then we've got Giant as well. Another 767 coming in. Delta 546. Runway 36 center, clear to land. Amazon and now we've got Air Transport. Okay, so it's getting busier. Sorry, my ears are really hurting under this headset for some reason. Doesn't normally happen, but yeah, they're really hurting Since at the moment. Ground, Delta 546 with information Oscar. Air Transport 3429, a heavy pushback approved. Expect runway 36 center. Pushback approved. Expect runway 36 center. Air Transport 3429, a heavy. Allegiant. Cruising down there. I will do some Allegiant Ops as well on Flight Simulator at some point. Cincinnati Ground. Air Transport 3429 with information Oscar yeah. for requesting push and start. I know. I know. We've already dealt with ye. Come on. Another arrival. Are you now? Cincinnati Tower. Okay. Giant 3710 heavy on final 36 center. Delta 546, runway 36 right at Tango 4 via Tango. Allegiant 4775, runway 36 right, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Air transport will be ready runway for right. a taxi Tango in a minute. Delta five, four, Where's Delta? Runway, three, six, ah, there they are. I was going to say, we couldn't see him when I zoomed in on him. I think it's because they were behind departure. that building there. Here we got an arrival. Uh, Amazon Air is still on its way in. Giant still on its way in. They've called up as Giant, but obviously we're not going to clear them yet because we've not even got Amazon Air on the ground. Air Transport 3429, a heavy runway 36 center at Delta 2. All the way down there. Oh, just noticed something cool. The aircraft next to them. Oh, there's a few here. I've got their cargo doors open. That's quite cool, isn't it? That's a sign that they're loading up at least and getting prepared to go. The 737 doing the same. Good modelling, that is. Fair play. I like that. Hmm. It's cute, isn't it? I like a 737. Really do. Okay, so Delta's taxiing really slowly down there. Allegiant is just going to pop up on the right. They've just taken off. It's a bit dead on that side of the airport. And then we'll have Amazon Air coming in any second now. They are on arrival. It's quite cool that they get to land past the cargo tower, ramp, isn't it? Okay. Right. Uh, we'll give you clearance in a minute, because I think Delta... No, Delta's not going to beat you down there, actually. The next action is going to be here on runway 36 centre. That's going to be Amazon Air 737 just making its way in now. There you can see the giant 767 making its way out. Interesting that the different aircraft for Prime Air have got different liveries, isn't it? The uh, the white and blue of the A330 is different to the white and the black of the 76s. And then obviously you've got the blue and the black of the 737s. There they are. Very elegant. Nicely done. Okay, we can give clearance to, uh, to air transport now. I did say giant, but you know what I meant. Where are they going to get off at? Are they going to go left or right? That's the next question. They should go to the right and then taxi down Delta. Uh, we'll give giant clearance to land as well, actually. We'll prioritise landings over departures. Just wait for... I thought it was SCX because that's Sun Country, isn't it? Oh, they're going right. Amazon Air 3053. Taxi to ramp via Delta 
November, Charlie. Taxi to ramp hmm. via Delta, November, Charlie. Amazon F3053. Uh, oh God. I mean, that's a bit of a pain, isn't it? Yeah. Let's get him to hold short on November. Oh, actually. Amazon Air 3053, taxi to ramp via Delta, cross runway 27. There we go. Taxi to ramp okay. Via Delta, cross runway Giant 3710, heavy, runway 36 center, clear to land. United 1318, runway 36 right, clear to land. Runway 36 center, clear to land. Giant three seven one zero heavy. Yeah. Uh, We've got another United wants push back. United four seven nine er push back approved. Expect runway three six right. Delta's going all the way down. Oh no, they're going to Tango four. So what about the arrival? Oh, they're a while out. United four. Delta 546, runway 36 right, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Wrong runway, Chaz. Runway three, six, Wrong runway, Chaz. Took F. F. Get Contact your oof tech. No, get your. No. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat that. In the background over there, look. We should have. There it is. The big 767 landing. In front of the other one. We can very quickly get the other one now to line up. Air transport 3429, a heavy runway 36 center, line up and wait. Who was that? Endeavour on its way in. Because now that means that they're not going to be in the way of Amazon Air. Which is good. Perfect scenario. Which camera was it? This one. They're now going to line up. We've then got the other aircraft about to vacate the runway. And then these guys can get going. Size of the 7.6 compared to the 7.3. It's nuts, isn't it? Absolutely nuts. Okay, they're off the runway now. That is all good. Air Transport 3429, a heavy runway 36 centre, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Giant 3710, heavy taxi to ramp via Delta, cross runway 27. Runway three, six, They're going to cross 27 as if it's not there. United 479, and runway 36 contact right at departure. Tango 4 via Air Tango. Should have an arrival any second, yes. There it is. Is this Endeavour, I think, on the way in? No. United. Floating its way in. Is it a 737? It is, isn't it? I thought for a minute it was an Embraer 175 or something. It looked really small. But no, it's a 737-800, this one, that's making its way in. Potentially a 900. That looks quite long. I don't think it's a nine. I think that's an eight. Down they go. Uh, no, it is a nine. I'll shut up, shall I? Oh, you know. I should shut up, shouldn't I? Endeavour four nine and nine are two. Runway three six right, clear to land. Oh, Allegiant's gonna have to wait. Runway three six right, clear to land. Well, these must come out of this one here. They're going to have to wait for them to go past them. We've also got traffic that wants to taxi in as well. United 1318 via Sierra. United 1318, taxi to ramp via Sierra to south. Taxi to ramp via Sierra to south. United 1318. So they're going to go opposite taxiway to United, which is going out on Tango. So they don't go in the head-to-head -head position. Allegiant 9200, push back approved. Expect runway 36 right. Hang on, did I clear someone for takeoff before or just push tell them to line up? Expect runway three, six, right. Did Allegiant I give them takeoff nine, clearance two, by accident zero, zero. when I meant to... I can't remember. Flipping out. 
I was pretty sure that I was just trying to get someone to line up, and I might have given them takeoff clearance by accident. Uh, let's get them to go via Alpha. Giant 3710 Heavy, taxi to ramp via Alpha. That's it. Giant 3807 Heavy, pushback approved, expect runway 36 centre. Yes, I like that. Do it as if it's like a one-way loop. Alpha for in, Charlie for out. This is very quiet, isn't it? This is very quiet. Which is weird, considering how bonkers the previous schedule was that I had here. There's United, one in, one out. Airbus out, 737 in. Oh, sorry. Airbus out, Boeing in, I should say. Then we've got this puppy pushing back. Now... They are going to go on to south, even though that's written as four. It's weird. They're going to go left here on two south. So you've got two north, two south. Pretty sure. They're going to go in there and then up. They should do anyway. Please don't turn right. Just making sure. You just you just carry on. Don't go anywhere near that. Leave that alone. Why are you slowing down? Or is that just because of the terminal? You're just being respectful. You're just being good. Because that's fine if you are. I wouldn't worry about it. Just keep going. Just keep going. Thank you. Allegiant, you're going to have a fine day. Don't you worry. Allegiant 9200, runway 36 right at Tango 4 via Tango. You're at Tango 4 as well, aren't you, United? Tango 4 via Tango. Oh, I nearly pooped myself then. I thought we'd hadn't given Endeavour landing clearance. There it is. Would have been a bit late, wouldn't it? Okay, let's get United out of here. They've got a while yet. Okay. United 479er, runway 36 right, line up and wait. Giant 3807 heavy, runway 36 centre at Delta 2. Where are you going to get off? Line up and wet. Oh, they're not going to get off there. They're going to get off at Tango 7. Three. Endeavour 4, 9 and 9 2. Taxi to ramp via Sierra 3. That wasn't the effect I thought it would have. Endeavour 4, 9 and 9 2. Taxi to ramp via Sierra. Taxiway 3. No. Endeavour 4, 9 and 9 are 2. Taxi to ramp via Sierra. Just do that. United 4, 7, 9 are runway 36 right. Clear for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000. Contact departure. Yes, this is duplicate command because you wouldn't listen the first time. Via Sierra. Endeavour 4, 9 and 9 are 2. Endeavour 5056, runway 36 right, clear to land. Five mile separation seems a really long way on this airfield for some reason. Nice little takeoff for you, love. Um, not going to do this one much longer, to be honest. I know another another short episode, but it's a little bit dead here, isn't it, in this current stint? It's weird, I expected to come here and it'd be bonkers, but it's been relatively easy to manage, if I'm honest with you. That's the one that's coming in. That's the one that's going out. That's worked really nicely, actually, using Alpha and Charlie as different taxiways there. We've got aircraft on their way out. We've got aircraft on their way in. Miles out there. And then we've actually had some passenger operations here from these two little terminals. But, yeah, not a whole Since lot else going on, but look at the Amazon size of this place. It's massive. Absolutely Oscar. massive. Request and it's a really cool airport start. as well, but... That is going to be the end of this stint, I'm afraid. I know it was a little bit dead, but we still got to see a decent mix of stuff. No 747s on that one, though. I'm going to have to find out when they go out and try and get a stint in with those in the near future because that Polar and Killer 747 are mighty tasty and very tempting. So, thanks very much for watching. As always, everybody, really hope you've enjoyed this episode and hopefully I will see you in the next one.